Hello guys. Um, this morning it is Diana Do here and this morning I'm going to show you um my part of my collection of Polly Pockets. Polly Pockets are um collection toy. They were released in nineteen eighty nine around those years. And now there are big collection items. They're very rare. And um, if you were born in the 80s, like me, it is a very, very important collection item. <laughs> Especially if you were a girl and you enjoy it. I've been collecting Polly Pocket for years and I want to show you my whole collection maybe in a few different videos and I hope that this will make you relax and give you many tingles I will be tapping on them as everyone makes a different sound and I'm um, showing you Mary many different ones. I'm sorry about the sound. I'm gonna quiet the phone now. <laughs> seashell. <laughs> it can be removed. You just close it and you put it back as it's a treasure. Then we have Polly who has this little diamond on her head and she's a princess of the sea. We have lots of details. As you see the inside is like a boat and she sleeps here and here's her little throne. Here's I really like these toys because they have a lot of detail and they're so sophisticated. They're so precious. It's just plastic, but there's a whole world inside this. And they make such pretty sounds. They're so interactive. And you can make up so many stories inside it. Okay, this is the first one. I will show you all the jewel collection first. I'm sorry about the lots. As you can see, you can hold it as a bracelet. <laughs> it's, it's a bit heavy to hold as a bracelet. And the other ones are missing, this little chain. But it's still very cute. I like to keep them organized in a shelf, which was made on purpose for them. And now it is starting to be a little too small because I had too many and I'm so happy. Okay. Let's go for the red diamond one. This is a ruby 
And this is full of precious details as well. Yes. It's just so amazing. It's just a toy, but I can feel it so precious. This was released in 1992 as well. These were not metal because it was still bluebirds. So if you're a collector that is looking for Polly Pockets, because maybe you were a little girl who enjoyed playing with this, then you have to look for Polly Pocket Bluebird. That way all the new ones won't appear and you'll find these ones. Also, um, this is a good mm, suggestion for any of you who's selling them, make sure you write Polly Pocket Bluebird because that is what us collectors will be looking for. If you want to inbox me any offer, I'd be very happy to buy Polly Pockets from you. So, message me. <laughs> okay, let's open this one. As you see, this one is very precious. It's tiny. We open it and we have we are missing the monkey from this one, but it's okay. We have this precious treasure. You see, it has lots of use signs, which is a nice thing because it means that a kid played with it. I'm so happy. I can feel the happiness she had because I was so happy too when I was playing with them. So we have this ruby. <laughs> Very precious treasure. And this house has a lot of detail, as you can see in the little door with the heart. You can walk inside and you have this comfy couch where to sit. You have the water, you have all food, drinks. Then she has her throne and she has this extremely elegant bed. I've always dreamed of having a bed with curtains because I always dreamed of just closing the curtains and sleeping. I know it would get very hot, but it would still be very fascinating. If you can see the detail, you can see that we are very probably in a Middle Eastern city. And she is Polly. She has a red diamond on her head. And I think she's a belly dancer. I like to think that she is. She's also raising her her knee. <laughs> so she's probably making a hip drop. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Let's put Polly to sleep. I hope there is no sounds that are barking because sometimes the neighbors can decide to be a bit messy. I like I really love the tapping of sounds which this toys make. I like to tap on them. I find it extremely relaxing. I will probably be dividing this video in different parts so that I'll avoid interruptions. <laughs> okay. Then we have um, the third one. And this is going to be the last of those that I have, um, which is not boxed. I have one boxed, and it is the green one, the forest green, forest princess. And I will show it to you in the next video. This one is purple. It is very precious, and it has um, a lot of detail as well on the outside. So I just love to, pr to pass my finger this detail just makes it feel so precious so delicate this was released in 1992 as well these were all part of the princesses collections and it made girls like us we like princesses <laughs> here we open it and we have a beautiful white diamond this is real diamond Beautiful detail. Um, this time, Polly, 
she has a white diamond on her head as well. I hope you see nicely. See the white diamond? <laughs> and she is dressed up heavy <laughs> because it is very cold where she is. But she has a comfy little house where she can stay safe and warm. Oh, I really like it when it is cold outside. And you can just stay cozy under your bed covers. Oh my god, it drives me crazy. Okay, then here is her little throne as well. And she has a sled. And she has skates. Oh, and here is a seal. It's iced. And the door is all iced, full of icicles. And this is a very little precious treasure. And these were part of this collection and in the next video I'm going to show you the last one which is green but I'm going to fetch it later I'm not going to drop myself <laughs> so you can keep having tingles and relaxing okay. this is I think this is one of the rarest ones because it was not from Lubert. It was not branded and I remember buying it on um, a Christmas uh, market, you know, when um, people just settle <laughs> with tables and they sell things. And I remember being charmed by this beautiful shell. And it was so different from the other ones. And when you open it, we are missing the mermaids, which I'm going to fetch from here. Oopsie. <laughs> this is where I put all the ones, all the characters, <laughs> which don't have all. Oh, this is where all my characters ended. Because, you know, you have to know that I like. Mm, my cousin to play with him because when my cousin comes here and she's 11 and she's gorgeous when she comes here I really like her to play with my toys I also have Barbies but I keep them um, closed in the box because I want them to um, stay precious until my daughter <laughs> well until I will have a daughter <laughs> and we'll just unbox them together. I'm still, I'm not saying I'm young, but I'm um, still, you know, studying. <laughs> so it's a bit early. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very beautiful playset. We have the stairs. Let's count them. Bridge is made of seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. And we have twenty-two steps inside of the bridge. And we have two beautiful mermaids. blonde one and there's a purple haired one and I was so lucky that um I managed to find the this place that with the two original mermaids so we, and I'm just so lucky that I managed to find this photo this place that complete because it was just so rare and I never thought that um, that anyone outside me had it so I'm so happy and even though it may look a bit simple compared to the other ones it was my favorite because as a kid I enjoyed filling this with water and make the mermaids swim and it's just my favorite I like the texture of the waterfall as it has lines and then we have woods and then 
there it's rocks somewhere in mermaids again sunball I'm just so happy I found this because it was my favorite okay and I will in the next video I will show you <laughs> the other ones I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you lots of tingles <laughs> this is Diana Duke